Greetings all, it is I, Sam Farron, and welcome back to Let's Translate Trails at Dawn to Crimson Sin. Between this episode and the last, I've been busy. There were two side quests, although one of them... One of them was just the Master Kill quest. We got it from Judith's granny, actually. We actually had to re-infiltrate this place from back here. We couldn't explore the dungeon again, but it was just like a... It was a pretty weak uh, monster. We got rid of it pretty, pretty quickly. The second one was a uh, choice one, so I'll go over that. Basically, this kid, uh, we got a request from two kids that one of their friends had gone missing. And it turned out that he was uh, being abused by his uh, foster father kind of thing. But, like, he was, uh, he didn't want to admit that he'd, like, uh, he didn't want to, like, report the abuse because then it would be, like, he lost to him kind of thing, like that kind of thing. Anyway, we go around, we find him, uh, and it's, and then he's, like, gonna live with uh, some old lady who runs the bathhouse. But he's like, he's not sure if he wants to do it, so then Van and the others persuade him. And then there's a choice about how to deal with his dad, his foster dad. And let me see here, the triangle was uh, submit him, or like, report him to the police. That, I chose that one, they gave me law. The other one was to not, to, uh, like, get the police involved and instead uh, get him to write a contract. That he'll like, go live somewhere else and not get involved with this kid. And then if he breaks it, then we report him to the police kind of thing. So, yeah, that, that would have probably given Grey or maybe Chaos. You get Chaos for doing the quest anyway, so I don't know. So, yeah, they, for some reason they wanted us to come here before we uh, go on to the thing. Oh, uh, I guess they're filming. Uh, I didn't see them here earlier, though. Yeah, I think uh, the director's moving around a bunch of places and adding in scenes that weren't in the script. Whenever he gets excited, this is always what happens. I hope Nina's okay. Well, we've come this far, we might as well say hi. Uh, Nina and director and uh, Granny. Uh, are you doing another, like, extra scene? Oh, uh, hey, Judith. Oh, Judith, uh, you're exactly right. This, like, faint snow is perfect for what I'm after. The man who saved uh, Michelle and the others uh, was a businessman called Anthony. But uh, he was really the boss of the enemy all along. And then uh, just as Michelle is about to fall into his hands, uh, I think that kind of scene would really work here. And uh, if Judith's here too, then... Uh, huh? Yeah, I, uh, I get it, director. If we had both of the heroines here together, that would really uh, raise the like impact of the scene. Ha ha ha, exactly. Wait, you mean... Are we gonna lose Judas? どうしてどうしてアントニオさんがここにロン様ああ彼はここにはコナニオあのゴールデンブラッドもねさあ僕に鍵を渡してくれるかい奴らの計画を止めるために。違う。ロンさんは必ず来るって言っていた。鍵を渡しちゃいけないとも。きっと組織の連中が奪いに来るからって。アントニオさん。まさかあなたが。ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
あいにくだけどゴールデンブラッドに不可能はないの絶対に止めてみせます私たちとロンさんではいオーケーいただきましたオーケー that was good Yeah, that Anthony, that was the character that Van was uh, filling in for, I guess. And also the actor there was the, the, the scumbag that we uh, helped in that side quest. Yeah, it's surprisingly interesting being on backstage of a film set. Like that scene was amazing. It's hard to tell it was ad-libbed. Wow, that was brilliant. Getting to see those uh, two lovely ladies act up close like this. Hey, you. Ha ha ha, you really do understand, don't you, Leon? Or Rion? If you'd uh, said you were here earlier, I could have uh, showed you even more. Oh yeah, you let uh, Van like fill in for one of the actors, right? You should let me do that next time. Ooh, very good. Uh, you're pretty good looking after all, so maybe you'll be able to become an actor after this. Hey, you two, stop fooling around. That was the actor from yesterday, so that was his role? Uh, that guy was the one that, like, you filled in for. Yeah, it's pretty much a staple in, uh, Gotch's movies to have, like, a pathetic villain like that. But since it's a collaboration with director Ram, it's, uh, kind of went a little differently to previous times. Ah, uh, honestly, why are you all, uh, so relaxed? Hey, uh, we finished filming, so we need to hurry up and go. Yeah, I guess we shouldn't overstay our welcome. Oh, yeah, we ended up, uh... <laughs> Kind of taking a detour here. Okay then, uh, Nina and uh, everyone on the staff, good day to you all. Yes, uh, please come again. Uh, our next scene is in the back streets, right? Uh, when you guys are ready, we're going to head over there too. Wait, the back streets? Uh, that's quite close to the underground club. And Judith, you've got rehearsals. Uh, Starting in the evening, so you better, like, hurry back once you're done. I know, uh, I'm not a newbie. <laughs> a few years ago, there was, uh, like a big construction work thing going on there. Apparently they were doing something with the waterworks. Understood, uh, thanks a lot, Granny. Did she just give us a hint? Hmm, what a capable, uh, old lady. And the way she carries herself, she kind of reminds me of, uh, Master. Well, let's go and, uh, like, not waste her kindness, okay? Yeah. Judith and, uh, Van, too. And even those people. I hope they can finish up quickly. Hmm. It seems pretty good for like a collaborative film so far. Yeah, a lot of uh, like collaborative uh, films just don't really work out. There's uh, yeah, quite a lot of that. So I guess uh, that shows how good the actresses and the Directors are. <laughs> and the finished thing is going to be even better, so you better wait. Or we'll better look forward to it. Alright. Yeah, I'm definitely not ending the video here. Let's uh, keep going. This might be the end of the chapter. Uh, so. According to Granny, they were like working on like the water things, like the waterworks. Yeah, let's uh, search a place like that with a shard search. So we're not using the weird eyes, are we? Well, I mean, I see something over there. There was a reaction in that room. Oh, so it's in there, hub. <laughs> oh, it's the toilet. Uh, oh, I thought we were going to climb in the toilet, damn it. Wait, so... Yeah, it's just like a... Interesting, interesting. 
You do that, the main story will progress. You won't be able to walk around anymore. Yeah. Let's uh, go under the floor. This reaction, could this be like a hidden entrance? Yeah, there's no doubt. It seems to be uh, closed from the other side, but we should be able to open this fairly easily. All right, let's go. Uh, wait a second. What's wrong, uh, uh, Saris? You're really losing your nerve at this time? No, of course not. Uh, that's a barrier to keep people out. It'll only last about five minutes, so you better hurry it up. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, there's other reasons I want to finish this quickly, though. Wait, this smell. Yeah, I was expecting something bad, but it's pretty strong. This is probably a hidden escape route that uh, goes through the sewers. We'll just have to, like, <laughs> grin and bear it. Hmm, but when it's too unpleasant, it can uh, have an effect on your, like, spirit's well-being. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess you could do that, huh? Yes, this is a purification barrier. It's a spell, and it, uh... It, like, gets rid of, uh, like, filth and, uh, like, bad smells, like, around you. Uh, should I cast it on you guys as well? Uh, <laughs> except for Van, since he's, uh, quite good at grinning and bearing it. Hey! I mean, leaving his, uh, like, banter aside, that's pretty impressive. Uh, and it seriously helps out in this situation. Yeah, let's, uh, take him up on it. This is, uh, like, we're gonna be, uh, here for a while, I guess, too. Something. Van and the others went down into the, like, passageway, and it was a, a dark, like, sewer place. And they made their way forward using a, a few, like, traces that remained down there. And then... Oh. Wait, so we came out here? We're outside the town, and it seems to be on the, uh, the west side. Seems like this is a complete, like, dead spot, uh, from, like, in town. Like a blind spot. Yeah, it's completely natural here, and there's no sign of any, like, human work being done here. I see this could be a good, uh, escape route. Oh, this is... <laughs> it hadn't reacted all this time, so I thought we were off, but... Yeah, I guess this is it then. I'm sure this memento that we're going to find ahead has something to do with what's going on in the capital. Yeah, let's uh, be careful though. Now, I don't really get it, but uh, is that the that thing from last year? Well, we, we shouldn't like pry too much. Uh, we seem to be quite close to our destination after all. Uh, I feel a strange presence. Let's let's go ahead, but don't like let your, let our guards down. Yeah, I'll be counting on you guys. Okay, then. Yeah, I was able to play as Ceres a bit during the side quest monster. But I haven't played as her in an active battle yet. Hello. And from what I can tell from the boss, she is insanely powerful. Like, physical attack-wise. A physical attack is like double the damage that like Vans does, I think. But s crop wasn't that strong, but yeah. Definitely making short work of these guys. I wanna... Yeah, I need to get Judith's SP up as well. I'll play as a Rion for a bit. Hello. Yeah, when I saw this area in one of the gameplay trailers, I thought it was, uh, in that area in Ronwai, the mountain range, it kind of looked like that. And I was like, wow, do we really go there that early in the game? And it's a completely new area. Unfortunately, I already know what the boss is going to be here. It's the ocean. Uh, the wind's a bit stronger. Is uh, Luca's dad really here? The final uh, member of Almata. 
If we find him, let's uh, make sure he. Uh, like, let's make sure Ruka can meet him. Yeah, you're right. Okay, this seems to be. It seems like he's a physical attacker, but his his like charge attack is magic. That's so quite good against these guys. I'd rather play a Saris there. That's not Saris. Okay. Damn, that's a cool dodge attack. Ow. I'll play his quadra for a bit. I want to get his CP up and then switch him out for Judith. Oh, hello. Fucking dung beetle. Yeah, his attacks seem to be faster against this guy. Maybe it's because he's bigger. Like, the attacks like weren't really all hitting the other enemies when I was messing around with them. Maybe it's because I'm not locked on, actually. That could be it. That actually might be what's, what I've been missing here. Usually it just seems better to like not lock on in this game. I can't remember how I did that in the last game, if I, if I was always locking on to enemies, but this time I feel like it's better to not. All right, he's definitely, uh... Oh, I can't switch him out now. Oh well. Uh, oh right, duh, that's a shockwave. Right now we can switch out for Judith. Oh yeah, I need to show off Saris's regular attack. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, you, you saw how much damage it did. Yeah, it was pretty fucking strong. I don't know why I'm not fleeing, but... Hey. Fuck. Yeah, I might want to run actually, otherwise you might... You might actually kill someone here and I wouldn't want that to happen. Oops. Fuck me, get out! Yeah, none of that. That was a fucking charge attack, I didn't even notice. Fine. Got like one health. Alright. Okay, wow. Yeah, so they joined at level 26. Then is still uh, vibing at level 21. Wonder if we have any... No one comes with a tier. I, I need to sort out my, my arts plugins. I've been way too lazy to actually get on that. You know, I'll follow these guys. Let's just see what's down here. Yeah, I want to play as Judith. What's Judith's spell like, actually? Oh, it's just still the thorn again. I mean, it makes sense they wouldn't give every character a unique spell, I guess. Since it seems like there's more characters than in the first game. Still there, bro. Yeah, she... He just fucking destroys these guys really quick. Yeah, I haven't really been cutting out battles that much in this game, because I feel like... I feel like they're quicker than in the first game, or maybe it's just because, like, they get longer late game. I don't know. No, I'm pretty sure even in Chapter 1 I was cutting out a bunch of battles. Hello, boys. Hey, I got a trophy. Oh, shit. Dude, Judith just destroys. 
like large groups of enemies so efficiently. Insane. I don't know what that trophy was. I couldn't be bothered to read it. All right, very nice. Okay, we've got a cheeky battle here. Then we're probably gonna have a cheeky cutscene. Oh dude, something I just realized, I killed that enemy that had a HP turn and then Van got that HP turn. I think they changed how it works in this game, that's sick. So like, if you kill an enemy, you get whatever bonus they have the next turn you act. Maybe that was just a coincidence, but I don't know, that's that's definitely what it looked like. That's really sick if that's uh, actually what they did, because that's, that's cool. I like that. Okay, I wasn't planning on cutting that out, but these guys just have so much health, and I ended up using uh, Rion's S-Craft, and that just like froze all of them for nine turns, and they couldn't even act. So it wasn't too challenging. I mean, I'll still show that thing with uh, the turn bonus there. That was cool. Yo, this loading screen has lasted in a while. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, around the same time in Messeldam Town. All right, that was a good rehearsal. Let's uh, keep this momentum and get the cameras rolling. Uh, try and like be more aware of like the breathing of like the grunts. Yes. I guess like the grunt act as well. Uh, who are those guys? Uh, it's the club uh, up ahead, right? Uh, yes. We've confirmed that the guys from last night entered there. Charge! Find them no matter what. We'll get that data back from them and then uh, steal the memento and turn them into guinea pigs. <laughs> out of the way, out of the way. The hell? Uh, you can't. We're in the middle of filming right now. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Ethan. なんなんだ。あのローバは。いいから<笑><笑><笑> <笑>だ、<笑> But man, so that's the power of the rumored uh, stigmata. 
Uh, well, it's not like we use it all the time, and uh, I hardly ever like release it at full power. Yeah, the details I'll have to refrain from telling you, but it's uh, it's usually like not the kind of power that like humans should wield. So if it's not necessary, I don't really want to use it. Well, uh, how reliable of you? <laughs> and I, I see there's two uh, motherfucking uh, exclamation marks on the map there. Not sure what that's all about. All right, that was easy enough. Yeah, even Van doesn't really get that much experience for these guys. It's really weird how the experience and stuff works in this game. Feels like, I don't know, I, I think I'll do Van's side uh, starting like first next chapter. So that he can maybe catch up on levels. I mean, I'm sure it won't really matter eventually, but yeah. Dude, sometimes Le Rion's fucking thing just misses. It's weird. Missed twice in a row there. Okay. Got another frickin' thing. Oh, let me guess. Oh, wait, no, it's just normal cutscene. But man, you guys, uh, you're really, like, into it this time, huh? Uh, I didn't think that you'd, like, come all the way here just on a rumor of some, like, memento. Uh, well, it's not just that. What do you mean? Uh, I mean, it's not like it's unrelated to you guys, so I guess we can tell you. Wait, but I guess first we've got to deal with that guy. Fuck's sake. Is it just one? Wow, it literally is just one. I'm cutting this out so fucking fast. Alright, yeah, so I used- this time I used, uh, Saris's S-Craft and it burned him for... Like, nine turns. And then he took like 5,000 damage nearly every turn after that. That does that. All right, uh, that's what we were saying. The truth is, we actually managed to retrieve an artifact from that Genesis Tower. But just as we were about to bring it back to the, uh, like the, uh, the church country, we uh, lost it. But it like, well, she didn't say she lost it. She said it, it disappeared. And Quattro's like, it disappeared? Oh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Uh, She's saying, oh, so like the the weapons, like the artifacts that uh, the three mi administrators of Garden and Gerard used. And uh, the guys running stuff at the church figured this was bad, so they sent us out to investigate it. That uh, doesn't, doesn't sound too good. Well, the thing about them is uh, it's not just like anyone can use them, at least. That's uh, the only good news here. So, uh, Almata's memento could be referring to those artifacts then. Well, I'm sure we'll understand soon enough. Indeed. Uh, let me just get this. Yeah. So there's like artifacts that disappeared and then Almata's remnants and then the Genesis reacted too. Yeah, none of this uh, we can like afford to like let like leave alone. Yeah, so uh, I'll be counting on you until the end, my Grail Knight friends. Alright, I was gonna kill those guys but I don't want to. Oh. There's like five characters talking over one, one another at this point. Wait, is this uh, like a place where Almata store their goods? Seems this is where we're headed. Let's be careful. But we're going to do that next time. Uh, wonder if they'll let us take these two to the garden. Maybe that's worth uh, checking out. All right, well, that's going to do it for this one. So thank you guys for watching. And next time, I guess we'll probably die a bunch of times. So I'll see you guys then.